dope yeah. music. Mm-hmm. Um, my problem is just like when people claim CHH, they get a fan base and then they just dip out. Like that yeah. to me just hurts me because I'm just. Yeah, back in the field with the track stars Ryan Wright to Sean Tanner, DJ Jeremiah. What's good? Yeah, man, we are bad. <laughs> you know, I mean, you know, is. you know, you the one I need to <laughs> fill in for that. Anyway, so Ryan is still out. Um, we got some guest hosts in today, filling in for Ryan Righteous. Um, still taking care of his new child. Yeah, man. Um, so hopefully he'll come back and tell you more about that later. Um, make sure you go to TrackStars.com for all the latest. We got Aaron Dews and Miguel from Flight Club in the building. Flight School. Ooh, uh, yeah, my yeah. bad. Flight School. <laughs> I when as soon as I was like, that's not right. <laughs> <laughs> no, it happened. All the time, I get Flight so I'm, I get used to it now. I'm just like, you know what? As long as you, you know, listen, it's, it's cool. <laughs> what's crazy is is that D Black came out with. Uh huh. He came out with a club. flight club. Yeah. The same day, I think. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm like mad confused right now. But anyway, flight school in the building. Yeah, uh, yeah. Awesome, awesome stuff coming out from them. If you go to our leaks uh, dot dot com site, um, you'll see some stuff from Aaron Dews up there as well, man. So. We want to talk to you guys, guys. Some of the new school people coming in. Yeah. Wanted to kind of pick your brain, almost like this, like double interview, because okay. y'all don't even know each other. No. So this is gonna be. No, we just met. We just meeting up. Yeah. That's what's I up. I just heard about this guy last week. So real quick, real quick, tell me about your group, how you guys came together, and and kind of how you came on the scene. All right. So uh, I guess to make it quick, uh, it's Rich and I. We're both uh, part of a group, Flight School. Um, Rich was a outreach pastor at a church that I had been going to for a while and pretty much um, we kind of just clicked and um, uh, I ended up getting kicked out from like my parents house or whatever some crazy stuff happened and um, he like openly opened his arms he's like yo just come crash at my place and I was like all right bet stayed there for a couple months we didn't even do any music together oh, wow. but we knew like we did music um, and so we just really built our like friendship, our relationship, whatever. And um, pretty much like two years later, uh, I had like moved back in with my parents because we finally like settled everything. I got a car, I got a job. So now like I'm not even really home anymore. So that like alleviates a lot of tension. Um, and so pretty much me and Rich, we made one song and um, like we looked at each other and we're like, bro, I think we got some. Like, we got some, we got that yeah. heater or whatever, blah, blah, blah. And so <laughs> we're like, yo, like, we, you know, we're gassing ourselves up and stuff. And so next thing you know, Rich was like, bro, we should, like, do a whole project and just, like, kind of just make the same kind of vibe out of all this. And so we ended up doing six songs. And um, we, uh, like, after we did six songs, we were like, bro, let's just, let's just make a group. Like, let's just be a thing. Like, let's just do this together. And so we did that. We uh were, we were coming up with names. We were kind of we were just like, cause like we're both different body types. Yeah. So we were trying yeah, to look yeah, at yeah, like yeah. we're trying to be funny with our stuff. So like we were gonna go for like a whole Jungle Book vibe, cause uh I'd be Mowgli and oh, he'd be yeah. like he'd be the bear and stuff. <laughs> and so <laughs> yeah, and so like um so like we were trying to come up with all these different things. And so man, flight school was just it came out of nowhere, dude. Where it was just like we learn to aim higher like and we want to learn more from the ultimate source so it's like we want to fly together like anybody who hops on board with what we're doing whatever movement we're about um we just want to learn how to fly together wow and so it's like we want to take off and not in the sense of like yo we're trying to make it but it's just like we're just trying to reach heavenly grounds like we're just trying to do the things for god and and just take everybody with us and learn that's what's um, up because life is a learning process and so we learn to aim higher because we know we're called for a higher calling so awesome all right Aaron. Flight school yeah how'd what you that? get to where you are today sir man uh grew up in a musical household with my father over there he's a he's a producer does uh he looks famous. yeah 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 on, <laughs> he looks like he loves the eq <laughs> he lo- yeah 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 no no he gets uh he gets heavy d and uh and Israel <laughs> Hutton oh yeah yeah. All the time. yeah yeah it doesn't get tired of that but yeah grew up in a musical household um kind of was always around it uh grew up in a christian household you know and um i think it was around 13 i felt like i got called to actually start writing mm. i started beat making um 
What's that? Oh yeah, I started dancing actually. I was dancing before, and so arts was kind of like part of my life altogether. Okay. Um, but I did it for inten- attention. Uh, for girls, you know, yeah, just everything, yeah. you know, the whole situation. But um, like every young man does. Yeah, yeah, honestly, yeah. yeah my, my intentions were not. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking not about. Not in the right place. Yeah. Wait, what? Huh? No. Um, girls. But yeah, and then um, I don't know. 13, I kind of had a shift of uh, ideology, and I was like, Yo, I can make dope art that is uh, relatable, yeah. but for for everybody, and ultimately for God. And uh, I guess my my intentions of why I was creating kind of switched around the age of 13, which is the the year that I, I recommitted my life to Christ. So that's awesome, man. Yeah, that was kind of my story, and I just been writing, 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 and getting past the fear because I, I struggle with insecurity really deep. So that was something that I was kind of wrestling with, and I'm I'm here now. You sound like me. Really? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> sound exactly the same. Story what are what are yeah. insecurities, man? <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. Define insecurity. Yeah. <laughs> so what's for, for for both of you guys? Like, what are your who are your musical influence? It, no, matter if it be a mainstream Christian yeah. but who's like do you feel like when people listen to your music they're like wow you know what I mean I could take that away I, I feel that vibe that he's yeah. putting out yeah um it's kind of hard for me man mm-hmm. my 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 influences I feel like have changed a lot mm-hmm. um I used I mean obviously like I used to heavily be into like Andy Minio gotcha um and to the point where people were like yo bro you have an Andy Minio flow or whatever you sound like him and I'm just like Okay, I guess. So then I, I used to get mad about that. So I stopped listening to him for a while. Gotcha. And I was just like, bro, I hate when people tell me that I sound like somebody. Because I'm yeah. not, I'm like, intentionally, You're I'm not, not trying, trying to. to. Yeah. yeah. And I'm just yeah. like, it would bother me for real. Because I'm just like, man, like, I feel like I'm really, like, trying to do my own thing. But I guess I'm not. So it's just like, mm. all right, cool. So let me just listen to some other people. Or let me just not listen to music for a little bit. And so, um... I just got more into like I guess the secular stuff. I started listening to Drake a lot, and so like you know got in my feelings and stuff like that. <laughs> uh, started listening to Logic, and um, um, like when he first like started like like making his moves with like the whole Rat Pack stuff with his whole underground, his whole like all his like his like all his his uh, pre Def Jam yeah, days, yeah, pretty okay. much. Okay. And so like I was like, yo, this dude is sick. Like this dude can rap, and yeah. so <clears throat> started listening to a lot of Logic, and then. Um, through that i kind of just i kind of i don't know if i stopped listening to like rappers rappers but like i would listen to a lot of different people but my influences would be like justin bieber and like all these other people and uh recently this like duo they're kind of underground uh they go by they and they're out of like california i think and so they're a duo and dude their sound is (laughs) so like it's so crazy and it's so different and so I rock with them, and uh, as of late, uh, too, I would say my influences come from like Post Malone or something, okay. or like someone like that okay. too. So you added the melody into it. Yeah, so. got you. Mm-hmm. What about you, man? What about you? I um, I grew up on a lot of CHH, honestly. But being in a musical household, I think I was kind of exposed to anything. My palate was a little different than the most kids my gotcha. age. But um, I mean, honestly, dude, like, I mean, Kirk Frank was. Mm-hmm. Uh, a huge part of my life and then it kind of shifted more into the the rebel album really kind of changed it for me okay um and then after that i started getting into beat making so i wasn't even listening to rap at the time i was just listening to to producers so gavi was like wild to me um boy wanda a lot of those cats timba timbla timbaland um a lot of those guys so it was more so production but uh, i would say rap John Gibbs kind of changed the game for me, mm-hmm. and honestly, Jaden Smith. Yeah, really. Yeah, yeah Jaden Smith. Um, Jaden is killing it right now. Yeah, because really? I feel like, despite where he uh, where he's at in life, yeah. <laughs> I feel like I could kind of relate to him because he's a suburban kid. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I think a lot of these guys they're coming from kind of like the, the the gutter. You know what I mean? So yeah. I feel like I can kind of relate to him. Like he's a talented guy, like just fun loving. Um, you know, kind of writing about his experiences, and it's just—I I feel like I can kind of relate to him a little more than than other guys who might be a little older, might be experiencing a little more life, have more things to pull from. You know what I mean? So it's just fun. I think it's funny about Jaden Smith is yeah. that I feel like people—he's um, a like you say—he's a positive kid. He's yeah. a double, but I think people give him that genius title, and he just say the yeah. obvious things. Yeah, yeah. It's like <laughs> no. it's like he's a genius. Like he says, like I just had to. So um, you didn't like I like icon. I, I, no, I, I mean the song is fine. I'm just talking about I'm talking about his like what he says on Twitter or something yeah, on no. social media, uh, yo. and people be like, "Oh my god, he's genius, he's crazy," and he'd be like, "Turn off the mic." To yeah, the I can't. No, <laughs> I don't co-sign. I don't co-sign on the on the tweets. Like, <laughs> like realize, realize, like what is that? Like, yeah, I, yeah like I, can't, I can't. Common sense stuff. Yeah, yeah, but um, that's funny. You no, know, just sonically, like 
it was just really different because it was a whole lot of, i think trap is like super saturated yeah, yeah and yeah, i'm yeah. kind of like i'm kind of actually as an artist trying to scoot out of that even though i know that's not gonna be the radio play but um yeah. it's so hard dude. it's it's very hard it's, it's very so difficult to, to to go go out of that but he was doing you know realize like what is that like, yeah, I, like yeah, I can't I common can't sense though but yeah, yeah but um that's funny you know just sonically me, me and Shantana, um, I was just telling him, like, before you guys came, I was like, came here, I was like, um, Drake's Nothing Was The Same album, yeah. the production off that, yeah. it's like the blueprint for, like, the Logics, the G-Eazy, yeah, yeah, like, those yeah, sounding yeah, beats that absolutely. they use, yeah. and people that, like, that's in that same kind of category, yeah. like, that album, if you listen to it, like, production-wise, yeah. it's like, wow, like, he, like whoever, I, I, I forgot the, the, the guy, the DJ's name that, that was on Credit for Worst Behavior, but yeah. I was like, that sound is, like, popular for oh, yeah. Yeah. a lot of people. Absolutely. Yeah, you yeah, know what I mean? Sure. For sure. So it's just crazy just how the, that people can shift an artist popularity yeah. can shift the sound of different music and stuff sure, like that you know what sure. I mean so yeah so both of you guys are are kind of exploding onto the CHA scene how like why now because it seems like both at the, almost the same time okay why now and what how did you do it how did you okay. start getting on people's radar doing shows and opening up for like how'd you do it yeah. was it one album was it a song was it making contacts do you want to it was crazy? yeah it was contacts honestly uh relationships was a big part of it um actually i reached out to ruslan so i was i didn't know that i was going to be making a an album by fire by night but um i reached out to ruslan for a feature mm-hmm. and uh he really messed with the stuff actually like so oh, that kind of that that turned into just more so of a less than a business partnership and actually like a, just a partnership yeah that's dope um so he was super excited about the song which i don't i don't he said he's usually you know Kind of, you know, <laughs> no, 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 he oh, is. But, uh, Ruslan but, is the truth, super man. honest. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. He's, he's from, he's, yeah, he's, he's pretty, pretty blunt with it. Yeah, pretty blunt with yeah, it. But um, yeah. no, no, no. He was, I mean, he, he loved it. He was excited about the about the song, and so that kind of branched off into a bunch of different connections. And he, he invited me out to San Diego and stuff like that. And he brought um, he was on his tour with uh, with John, and so that's where where you been uh, mm-hmm. happened and everything like that. And so I don't know, just like just relationships are super important. Um, and I think that was kind of the catapulting taking a risk and yeah. asking for yeah for future. sure yeah definitely what about you, man? uh to be honest it's funny i feel like we're still like nowhere near um like some of these other people like i feel like <laughs> yeah. we're just now i think yeah like we're just now starting to like get on the same spectrum as like some of the like I don't want to say low class because it's like you know whatever. But starting off, starting off, we get, we get what you're yeah, saying, but it's not like, like, it's like on the you know like there's yeah. still people who, or maybe there's people who know about us, but they just don't say anything. You yeah. know what I mean? So maybe that's just what it is. Be uh, because like there's times where somebody will mention us in a conversation and they'll be like, oh yeah, we know about them, and it's just like how you know about us? It's yeah. like mm. oh, we ain't getting no tweet, no share, no mention. Like <laughs> you know, like yeah, yeah. not that like not that Y'all that solidifies. Y'all on the runway. Yeah. On the wrong <laughs> thing. Gassed up though. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. <laughs> It goes so, with the whole thing. <laughs> I will say that I do know a couple people. Um, b- being from Florida, um, like I said, it's like super saturated down there with like uh, just like CHH is all over the place. So like yeah. I've been able to connect with a bunch of different artists. Um, I actually, so uh, Daraj is one of my homies. Um, we went to the same church when I first started rapping. Mm-hmm. Um, and so he was like the worship leader guy there. And um, we linked up. And so we were friends since like, 2012 2013 oh wow and wow. so uh so that was my con- that's like my connection to him not that like he's i don't want to say he's like not done anything but he hasn't really like like it's not like i got no his like, name no i get what yeah. you're saying his so name like, is somebody yeah so it's like, just yeah. like um and then um i've got to meet like Derek minor and all the other people because like friends that i've had that have opened up for them yeah um i would be like a hype man because i used to dance too yeah and so yeah, well i thought i could dance and so I'll, <laughs> i was just good at handstands and making people look like like go. making it look like i knew what i was doing there you go. but uh, yeah i was bad but anyways <laughs> um and then same with like the uh so for this project the dayton feature that we have um i made a beat for dayton um me and uh me and pez uh made a beat for dayton and so 
that was placed on his like Menace mixtape. And so I knew him before that because of another friend. He had like a Bible study. Yeah. Um, and uh, like Dayton used to go to the Bible study. So my friend was always like, yo, I got to link you guys up, blah, 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 whatever. And I was just like, all right, cool. We went to an outreach and uh, they were performing. It rained. We were all under this like tent. Yeah. Like it was like a lot of us under this little tent. Yeah. So we got to know each other real quick. It wow. was just like, it's like, hey, bro, what's up? <laughs> hey, man, how you doing? I can smell your breath. All right, cool. Wow. Like, That's dope. so like just those just those little connections. <laughs> Um, to be honest, I feel like a big part of it is my pr- is like the production side of things yeah. because I am a producer. I feel like I do get leeway with meeting different people. The Kanye um, plug, yeah, pretty yeah, much. So I did the beat battle, the Rapzilla beat battle back oh, yeah. in 2016, mm. and um, like I was the I was the underdog. When I, like, was this? Nobody knew who I was. 2016 and where? Flavor Fest. Flavor Fest. Oh, really? Tampa. We were, yeah. yeah, that's when we were there. Oh, so awesome. yeah, I um I was like the dude that nobody knew of. And so, like, when I just went up there and played my stuff, everybody was just like, what? Like, where this kid <laughs> come Dayton from? Dayton was the host. Yeah. Yeah. And oh, Dayton yeah, was the yeah, host. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, Dayton was, like, the only yeah, guy I really man, knew go there. Go to Flavor so, Fest, y'all. Uh, <laughs> for <laughs> real, man. Really like, does. your career will start from there. If, yeah. I mean, if you're really trying to do, like, CHH, for real. Yeah. Um, but anyways, uh, so I feel like that really got me connected because then I ended up, I didn't have a place to stay. Yeah. And so I was just going to go back home to Orlando uh, Cause I rode with somebody They were driving back And then I was just Gonna get my car And drive back But I was like Nah I ain't trying To do all that So I ended up Staying with Surf Gang wow. And so Stay with Surf know. Gang Because Ray Ray Rock yeah. uh, Ray Rock was one of the guys Who was in the battle Ray Rock was like Yo Love your stuff bro Like blah 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 Like I'll give you like Sounds and all that stuff So I was like Bet let's trade Like let's do stuff yeah. And so uh, he got me connected with Surf Gang. I stayed with Surf Gang, and then I met like Kev Mo, met like all these different people, uh, Alano, uh, who else was there? Uh, I met like all these other people. Yeah. And then the next day, I ended up staying with uh, with OB, with On Beat, and wow. so stayed with them. And so, dude, just like super, super good, good connections with these people. Um, and so from there, I don't want to say like that put me on either, but that just like gave me connections with different people. Yeah. Um, and so. Once again, I think that beat battle. So I got to have like that communication with like Chad and Phil yeah. uh, from Rapzilla, mm. and so they kind of, you know, like them posting our stuff or whatever, because they got like a huge platform with that, and yeah. so um, that pretty much just helped us get on whoever's radar. And wow. so awesome. right now we're still like <clears throat> we're still on the low, yeah. but I think what's <clears throat> cool is that where we're at, um, I feel like we're building a deeper rooted oh yeah fan base then we are just kind of like popping up out of nowhere and yeah. getting like an excessive amount of people who yeah. come in right. like we're actually doing shows and having people memorize our lines and lyrics and requesting songs while we're performing That's in like good. these back behind cities in michigan we're like what the heck how do you know our lyrics <laughs> yeah and she's like oh we listen to your music all the time we're like that's yeah because that's all you have to listen to up here <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> don't play them like that no. <laughs> <laughs> don't play them like that that's all so i want to know from from the newest people coming into chh what is what is your thought of the genre that you're kind of in and do you even think of it as a genre or is it just kind of a, a brand name attached to a group of christians doing music yeah <laughs> yeah. yeah that's the most sean lynch answer right there yeah, yeah. i'm all here so I'm yeah. yeah well what do y'all think about the the genre i mean you, you're seeing generations in front of you yeah um do you have a thought coming into it like is it going well is it not going well it's interesting. Don't want to get in my, trouble my, while you're my, still trying my, to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. my, my, my heart is heavy for this subject, so. Yeah. But I feel like you should go first, though. You want, all right. Yeah. I'm, I'm on a talking right here. Okay, here yeah. we go. Talking spree. So, my heart is this. I consider myself 100% a Christian rapper. Okay. I don't care. Like, I hate that, I like, I hate that people try to shy away from the title. For me, I'm just like, dog, like, if... If you're a Christian and you make music to glorify God, then you're a Christian rapper. And people are going to rock with you whether you're good or you're, like, whether you're a Christian or not. If you're good, they're going to rock with you. If you're bad and you're corny, then, I mean, of course, like, you're going to try and shy away from the yeah. title as much as you can because it's like, oh, I don't want these people thinking I'm corny. It's like, nah, it's not the title, it's you. <laughs> Anyways, sorry. Um, but <laughs> no shots. Just like, I don't know, like, I have so many friends, or I wouldn't say friends, like, like acquaintances or coworkers who come up to me and they're like, yo, your ish is dope. Like, they, like, yeah. Yeah, straight up just telling me yeah, and they're yeah. like dog i didn't even know you were a christian rapper blah 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 like no wonder why when i'm around you you're so different like mm. like you know like people can just tell you're different by your actions mm. um so like for me 
this is like 100% my ministry. Like, I believe this is my ministry. If I'm in a studio with people, I'm discipling them, not in a, in a way that looks church-like, but it's like, I'm going to teach you how to work a program. I'm going to teach you how to learn how to do all this stuff on your own. Yeah. And then I'm also going to give you, I'm, I'm going to be a good influence to you. And I'm just going to show you love, grace, and mercy, teach you how to write better. If I'm working with like secular artists, teach you how to write better so you're not cussing so much or like degrading people so much. Like just learning how to stretch people's um, like talents or doing that. And so that's how I disciple people with my ministry. So in that, for me, CHH, I feel like people are shying away from it because they don't want the accountability. Mm-hmm. I feel like people don't want to be held accountable to that platform, to that standard, because when they make a mistake, they don't know how to deal with that pressure. Yeah. And so the reason why people don't know how to deal with that pressure is because they're not plugged in somewhere. I feel like that's me personally. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm plugged into they a church. They're going to play this back. They're going to play this back. <laughs> back. No, back. No, I know, right? Watch. I'm going to eat my words. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Nah. You've seen many <laughs> rise and fall. <laughs> Over right. the last and that's years. and that's the sad part. Well, like good. it hurts me. Like it really you hurts. You gotta me. have you gotta have the attitude coming in. But I just just know five years from now I'm gonna ask you again. Go ahead, yeah. Okay. Bring me back five years All from right. now. I'm gonna be tatted All up right. on my face. <laughs> no, I'm, uh, I'm gonna come in your shirtless. You're gonna have a whole different swag five years. Yeah. And be like, yo, Funny. what's up? And I'll be like, man, I was young. I didn't know what I was talking about. That's wild. Nah, like I just really I don't know, like I've like there's times where I feel like I lose faith. And there's times where I'm like, man, like maybe I should, like, maybe I could just give up. Let me just go, like, yeah. hit this party. Let me just go do this, whatever. Um, and like, even when in those times, I don't know. I just feel like I've, like, the whole I've tasted and seen. Yeah. And it's like, there's no way I can turn back. Like, there's been so many times where I could easily just like fall into the trap of like not caring about what the world thinks, and I'm just gonna do me and all this stuff. And it's just like, nah, man, like. Like God snatched me out of it so quick. That's what's up. Um, and so, I mean, I'm 22. I'm young, and so, but I don't know. I just feel like me doing what I'm doing right now, um, seeing how it impacts people, seeing how it's impacted my own life just by me staying true to it. It's just like, man, like I can't, like I'm gonna make mistakes. Yeah. But I can't. I can never turn back. I can never just give up on God. So in case you're just joining us, this is Miguel from Flight School and Aaron Dews in the building with us. Yeah. What do you think about that question, sir? Yeah. I am kind of on the opposite end of the spectrum, just to be honest. Um, I kind of agree with you saying though, like they'll see the fruit of what you are, no matter what you yeah. call yourself. So um, I've never been one to em- embrace the Christian rapper title. Um, when people call me that, I'm not like, oh, whoa, 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 I don't correct me or anything like that. Um, but I feel like it would be limiting for me. And honestly, when it comes down to it, I love the Lord. I got a tight accountability circle, you know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Um, and it's about the real life, beyond music. I can talk about this and that and not live it out. And that's an issue, you know what I'm saying? So um, I'm really focused on just like my personal relationship with Jesus, man, and, and having my accountability tight then and there. And um, I, I've I've seen new opportunities open up, just like you were saying. Even if I were to adopt the the title, Christian rapper, I still feel people from outside of the faith coming in and saying your stuff is dope, man. And yeah. they're, cuss, they're cussing in the middle of the sentence too, which is mm-hmm. funny. But they rock with it. And um, I don't know, like I've never been one for the for the label, for me personally. But I get there's there's and, I, and, I, and not saying that not saying that yeah. like like you need the label as a yeah. as like if you're a Christian, like I get it. It's yeah. just it's just like if you're gonna market to somewhere, yeah. that's where I get. That's for me personally. That's and that's where I get and I, turned and off. And, I'm just and here's like, the thing: I don't want to um, shy away where my where my market is. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? If my audience is Christians, why would I deny that? You know what I'm saying? That's something yeah. that I do wrestle with, and that's something that I'm working on now. My brand, my brand, which is super important. Okay, you bringing up something that's that going into deep territory because it sounds like you guys are trying to do the same thing, mm-hmm. and it's just about semantics. Yeah. Who is your audience? Who do you want your music to reach? It sounds yeah. like it's yeah. clear who you who's who's the target for your music i feel like honestly anybody who's willing to rock with it like i feel like when jesus was going out and doing his like i don't mean a jesus juke but i feel like when jesus was going out doing his you know doing his ministry he was just speaking to whoever would listen he would go into the city and people were like okay here's jesus let's see what he's all about Mm -hmm. and people would just listen to him whether they were christians or not and if anything like the christians were the ones who were kind of like yo like this dude's bugging and so just for me, man, I feel like whoever's willing to rock with us, um, 
like I know I know where I stand when I make music like that's just my heart for it um, I don't like I'm not opposed to anybody else doing whatever they're doing like if they make dope music then they make dope music mm-hmm. um, my problem is just like when people claim CHH they get a fan base and then they just dip out like that yeah. to me just hurts me because I'm just like dude like people are looking up to you you got people who are new believers and so I feel like the reason why my heart is like this, though, is because I've done youth ministry. Like, I've been yeah. a youth leader. You've seen how it affects yeah. the kids directly. And it's just like, for me to be a youth leader and seeing what kids, how kids follow people, and me being a teen at one point, obviously, like, how I used to follow people. And it's just like, when people turn that switch around, and it's just like, yo, what does that mean for me? Does that mean I can start doing this now? Does that mean I can start living more freely and doing yeah. my own thing? And it's just yeah. like... It's that whole accountability uh, thing. Like, I do want to say one thing. Um, I think just those two perspectives, and we've been seeing this fight for years. Like, yeah, this for is, sure. This ain't nothing new. Yeah. Right? Like, we, we're talking this ain't about. even serious. Yeah, and, it's, it's not, it, and, I, and I think for us, and I think the reason why the um, track stars, like, we, we, we have a good place is because we invite both sides, yeah. and we love both sides, and honestly, we play both sides of music. Yeah. So it's not just one of those things, and I feel like, as long as you know what you represent, yeah. I think you're good. Like I, I always think about like, and he's probably before your time or people that you probably don't know, but like the cross movement and the grits, right. and like those yeah. two different perspectives. Yeah. But at the same time, their goal is to bring people to God or talk Absolutely. to people about the God, yeah. the gospel, or tell people like, from a grits perspective, they may do a show somewhere where it's <coughs> them on like a, a strong, like hip hop show. Whereas yeah. back in the day with cross movement, they may have just done youth ministries, but yeah. at the same time, God was in both situations. And our sure. job, and yeah. we're here to yeah. challenge both of y'all. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. For, the people, for the people yeah. going this way and the people going this yeah. way, yeah. there's problems with both of y'all. Yeah, yeah. And, <laughs> and, yeah. And, and we're here to check and make sure that are do you really are you really doing what you say you're doing yeah. or is yeah. your motivation because we've had we've just had a, a, a benefit of a head start to kind of mm. process through some of this already yeah so we just want to make sure we share with you the things that we figured out so yeah. far so yeah. you don't have to do it again from scratch yeah. mm-hmm. so yeah. real quick before we go you guys are hanging out with us today right yeah uh tell us where to get your music and tell us where to get your music okay yeah so uh we're on itunes spotify uh, pretty much anywhere that's digitally streaming. Um, we're under flight school as one word. And uh, yeah, we got three projects out. Um, our newest project is King Culture City, which just dropped that about three weeks ago. Yep. Um, Good project. Yeah, thank you, man. Yeah. yeah. Uh, same thing, all platforms uh, Spotify, iTunes, Apple Music, uh, Google Play, wherever you find music, man, uh, under Aaron Deuce. And I got a project out called By Fire By Night, nine songs. That's what's yeah. up. Awesome, man. Yeah. So let's get back into it. You in the field with the track stars, Ryan Wright to Shantana, DJ Jeremiah. Lip. Hey, guys. Miracle here. Thank you so much for watching that episode. Make sure you go below, like it, subscribe, click the bell, and make sure you follow us on all forms of our social media. Also, check out our website and be sure you spread the word. We'll see you next time. We know not what we doing. Screw that, they know, let them have it, do it. Okay, I'm around and prove it. Never mind, got a mind that'll wind up with me in a lineup behind bars with these bars. Okay, my time. Uh, team Freedom. Yeah. We not through yet. All right. Track Stars Music presents. Turn my volume up. Turn me off.